guys, welcome back to another video. Now, you may have seen the sneak peeks of this thing right here. This is like my favorite game console of all time, literally. But yeah, let's move on to the video. So, let's start at the front. You have Sony, it says Sony right there. And you got your power button and your eject button. Both right there. You got your, your Blu-ray drive right there. You got a USB USB port there, and another USB port there, and it says PS4. Now, I'll pause the video, and I'm going to turn it around to the back so you can see what ports you have in the back. So the ports we have in the back is like the generic wall outlet that PlayStation's always been using. You got your PlayStation, oh my gosh, I don't focus. Your PlayStation camera plug-in right there, your HDMI out, and your Ethernet slash wireless LAN. It's like some open spot. Then see this big panel. That is the hard drive panel. Which you can add. Add a bigger hard drive. But to me I think I'm good. Because this one has one terabyte. One terabyte hard drive. This The model on this one is the CUH 2215B. Uh, also there's a little bit of uh, Easter eggs. Let me find one of them. And yes, I've watched other reviews. No one's showed this. Probably because their cameras can't focus. Oh, crap. That's why I hate this. Okay. Where is it at? You got a square there. You can kind of see. Uh, a triangle there. Circle. And an X. It's very hard to see. And then I also flip it over so you can see other another like little Easter egg. So on the bottom you have feet, but look, it's the triangle, square, X, circle. And then you got another PlayStation logo on the bottom, so that's another little hidden feature. And now I'm gonna probably go plug it in. And so you can see what it's like. Alrighty, so how you turn on the console, you push this button right here, it'll turn blue, and then the TV should show the PlayStation well, actually you want to make sure to turn on your controller. This is a Gen 2 controller because the it has the light bar right there. It's like the light back right here too. And it, de if, it depends on what game you are. It depends on what game you are on. It, it will change colors also. This will be coming out Friday. Yeah. You got a headphone jack. Crap, why does this thing never focus? You got your headphone jack, PlayStation buttons, you know, analog sticks, your, whatever you call it, a D-pad, your touchpad with the blue light that's right there, you touch it or whatever, you can do stuff. You got your options and your share button, your, I don't know what order you do it, X, X, O, triangle, square, and says push PS button. Oh crap. You can push X. It shows your battery level right there when you log in. And it shows I earned a trophy apparently. Okay. So this is the screen you start off on. So, so let's start off with this. You get the PlayStation Store, which I'll show you really quick. It's just like the PlayStation 3's, which actually the PlayStation 3's store is about to be Delayed, not delayed, cancelled. Gosh, please focus. There. You got your feature, games, and all kinds of stuff. You scroll, I mean, it's not that complicated. You got your, what's new, so your new trophies will pop up down there. More news. TV and video, Spotify, your games that you have installed. Since I just got the console, I don't have any games, so I got Rocket League since it was free. Capture Gallery, the Playroom, which is really fun. Media Player, Live, it's basically a Twitch or a live stream or something. It's a, it's a streaming app, basically. You got your web browser, PS5 Remote Play, which is recently added since PS5 came out. PlayStation Now. PlayStation Video, and Share Factory. Then you got your other apps. If you click on that, 
you can install kinds of things like Disney Plus, Hulu, Netflix. Then you got your games, you got Spotify, YouTube. It's where you want to have all your stuff installed. And up here, you get your notifications if you want to clear them. Good thing I do have a notification. I'll show you how to clear it. So you push the options. Oh, man. Why is it doing me like this? Op. The op. What the back look? Well, that's an options button right there, okay? You push that. Good grief. It won't focus. And you click delete. And if you have multiple, you click select all and click delete. Crap, I did it wrong. Delete. Okay, no more notifications. Your friends that are online. Events, Season 3 in Rocket League, your messages, your parties, your profile, trophies, your settings, and your power. So if you go this, this is basically how you power off your console. It says, the PS5 will keep operating at a lower power consumption. It can charge, it can charge controllers, download update files, and keep applications suspended, depending on the PS5. <laughs> PS4's power save settings. Do not unplug the AC power cord while in rest mode. Or you can switch your user or log out of PS4. I almost see a 5. I don't know why. Get your. I already said that. And then close all applications and. Applications. <laughs> Never mind. And turn off PS4. Select this before unplugging the PS. Before unplugging the AC power cord. Or you restart. Close all applications and restart your PS4. Let's go back. Now let's go in the system settings. And we're not going to go in the Wi-Fi for good reasons. So you got your user guide. Oh crap, that's going to take forever. I'm not worried about doing that. You got data management. Da data <laughs> handling is health and safety. Accessibility. Account management. Parental controls. Login settings, network notifications, the devices like controllers, uh, or like any other Bluetooth device. Storage, let me make sure it doesn't show anything. See, so it says this is, has actually 872 gigabytes because it, the, the, gosh, I cannot speak. The system takes up some of the space. Get your themes. You can down. You can buy themes in the PlayStation Store. Application saved. Uh, sound and screen system software update. Sharing and broadcast. Mobile app connection settings. Remote play connection settings. Video playback settings. Date and time. We also can have it man or you can do it manually or on. Just whatever language power save settings. I'll go in here. PS4 after four hours. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. See features in rest mode. So if you don't want your uh, USB ports to be on during rest mode, because your controllers don't take that long to charge, the DualShock 4 charges pretty fast. Oh yeah, here's the light bar. I don't know if I said it already. This is a Gen 2 controller, so they have the light bar right here on the touchpad. But, you can stay connected to the internet. I'm not sure I'd want to do that. You can, turn on, you can turn on your PS4 from Spotify, also. I actually want to change it. So you can have your controllers turned off in a certain amount of time. You got your system. And we're probably going to do a separate video for gameplay. So this is part one. We will have a part two probably this week, this coming up weekend, or we will have it next week. Stay tuned for part two because we'll we will do the how how ugh, how the games play on this. So make sure to check out that video. I'll make it. Oh my gosh, that video will be out soon. All right, see you guys in the next one. This is the end of the video everyone. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.